meniscus tear examination and tests. Meniscus is an important cushion that lies between the femoral condyle and the tibial plateau. When the meniscus is injured, usually there is a history of twisting injury and the patient will have pain on the medial or the lateral side of the knee. The patient may have some swelling and the patient may also have some mechanical symptoms such as clicking, locking, and catching. So the patient will come to the doctor, the doctor will examine the patient. During the exam, we may find some effusion, but the most important finding will be tenderness along the medial or the lateral joint line, especially if the patient has pain when you feel the joint line. Then you will suspect a meniscus tear. The problem with that is the pain may come from other causes such as bursitis, arthritis, or ligamentous injury. However, this is rare. But the most important test is tenderness along the joint line. Range of motion is usually normal. So you suspect a meniscal tear and you start doing the provocative tests. So you may warn the patient they may experience some pain. The provocative tests all have the same idea. One is done standing, the other one is done prone, the other one supine. And the whole idea is to trap the meniscus between the tibia and the femur with rotation and twisting, and that will allow us to evaluate the lateral meniscus and the medial meniscus. And basically, if you get a click or a pop with pain when you do this maneuver, that is suggestive of meniscal tear. The first one is the McMurray test, and this is the most popular one. The second test is the Apley compression test. The patient is prone, bend the knee to 90 degree. This will allow the weight of the tibia and the foot to press down on the joint. You're going to put fingers over the joint line and you're going to rotate the tibia with compression force. If the patient experienced pain with a click or a pop, then the test is positive for meniscal tear. The reason the test is called Apley compression test because you need to apply compression. Now, if you rotate the tibia with distraction force and the patient experiences pain, then it is ligamentous injury and not a meniscal tear. Lastly, test. The patient will stand on the affected limb and bend in the knee about 20 degrees. Make sure you hold the hands of the patient so the patient doesn't fall. The patient twists with the knee in internal or external rotation about three times. And a positive test when the patient experiences a click or a pop with pain in the knee. These tests are not specific for meniscal pathology and the MRI is the procedure of choice to confirm meniscal tear. If you have a bucket handle tear that will block full extension, you will probably need to get an MRI early.